Thank you for the sun. Thank you for the moon. Thank you for the stars at night and the darkness too. Bless you for your peace. Bless you for your grace. Bless you for your perfect love and your perfect ways. And all shall be well. All shall be well. All manner of things shall be well. And all shall be well. All shall be well. All manner of things shall be well. Use me as you will. Remove my selfish pride. Create in me a servant heart to bless your holy. shall be well all manner of things shall be well and all shall be well all shall be well all manner of things shall be well hi there i'm deacon stephen fraser and I work with the Faith Formation team of the Roman Catholic Diocese of Auckland. Today we continue our journey as we take a few minutes in prayer to celebrate the third Saturday of Advent. We start as we ordinarily do in the sign of our salvation. Kia te ingoa, tumatua, tumaiti, tawairo tapu. Amen. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. This is how the birth of Jesus the Messiah came about. His mother, Mary, was pledged to be married to Joseph. But before they came together, she was found to be pregnant through the Holy Spirit. Because Joseph, her husband, was faithful to the law, and yet did not want to expose her to public disgrace, he had in mind to divorce her quietly. But after he had considered this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife, because what is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son, and you are to name him Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord had said through the prophet. The virgin will conceive and give birth to a son, and they will call him Emmanuel, which means God with us. When Joseph woke up, he did what the angel of the Lord had commanded him and took Mary home as his wife. But he did not consummate their marriage until she gave birth to a son, and he gave him the name Jesus. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Rejoice for the kingdom of God is at hand. Prepare a way for the Lord. Be more generous, honest, fair in your lives, proclaiming the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God. Rejoice, for the kingdom of God is at hand. Prepare a way for the Lord. Be more generous, honest, fair in your lives, proclaiming the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God. Joseph is a very important person in the story of the birth of Christ. He presents a very human side to the God encounter. He struggles to understand what Mary tells him and is yet sensitive to those nudges in the communication of God through that inner voice 
of dreams and of conscience. He shows us that questioning and struggling are okay as we seek to serve God when we trust and when we listen. So a loving God. We pray, O oh God, hear us. For the church, who calls its members into the mystery of the Incarnation. We pray. O oh God, hear us. For the leaders who call us to justice. We pray. O oh God, hear us. For those dealing with chronic illness and pain who reveal God's compassion. We pray, O oh God, hear us. For expectant parents who reveal God's goodness. We pray, O oh God, hear us. For our own intentions. We pray, O oh God, hear us. Tato, let us pray. God of life, you entrusted your son to a righteous man, Joseph, who acted with reckless abandon to protect your son and his mother. Inspire us to act when your Holy Spirit calls us. We ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Ki te ingoa, te matua, o te te maiti, o te te wairua tapu. Amen. Eh?